Back on the show is Marion Renault, who's got a big fight coming up here against Melania Dudeva, coming up here at UFC Fight Night 99 on November 19th. Marion, how's it going? Good to have you back on the program. Oh, good. Thanks to be back. Good, good to be back. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, right off the bat, uh, you know, the last time you and I spoke, uh, you were talking about a fight with Betch Cahaya. Um, I saw on social media, she actually responded back to you. It seemed like that fight was going to happen. Why didn't it happen? Your guess is as good as mine. Honestly, I was pushing for that fight and I still am pushing for that fight. Um, I think that would be a great fight, especially for the fans, since we've been talking back and forth and agreeing to it. So um, hopefully she says, OK, and maybe we can set it up sometimes in December or maybe even early January. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be keeping an eye on that one for sure, because I think that is a fight that, you know, the fans want to see. And, you know, there's a lot of interest in social media, not just from you guys, but from the fans as well. Uh, but I mentioned off the top there, you are taking on Melania Duvea. Uh, UFC Belfast coming up here. Was uh, Melania someone on your radar? Was she someone you wanted to fight or was this just sort of presented to you? It was just kind of presented to me, honestly. I think uh, she had taken some time off. So she had been off for a while since the Juliana Pena fight. So it was just something that was presented to me, and it wasn't something that I was going to turn down. Absolutely. And uh, she was off because uh, she actually recently had a child. Um, I believe uh, it was April 2015. She was, uh, you know, obviously taking some time off for that. Um, the, the fact that she hasn't fought in so long, do you feel like that's going to play a factor in the fight with her not being as active as you are? You know what? Uh, it's not for me to judge, especially since I don't know what she's been doing up until that point. She could have been training. If she's anything like me, as soon as I had my son, I was like trying to work out outside of the hospital. So um, I, who's to say if she's ready or not? Who's to say she's been, you know, doing anything? For all I know, she could be coming back as a black belt jujitsu. Who knows? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So now that you have had a chance to sort of look her up and kind of check out her fights and everything, how do you think you match up against her? Um, I actually like the matchup. I hear she's um, judo. She's a ground person. And, you know, that I love to be on the ground, but I also like to be standing, too. And she's kind of a gamer on her feet. So I think either or um, it's a perfect matchup for both of us. I'd agree. Um, who are some of the people helping you get ready for this fight? Oh, um, well, I have my coaches, obviously. Um, coach uh, Eloy Garza, Doug Marshall. I have my jiu-jitsu coach, Tom Knox. And then I also have um, a lot of good ground people a lot of strikers involved um so they're actually all helping me it's it doesn't just take one person it's like it's a family affair pretty much so it's a lot of people awesome. even my no. fiance i have to give i have to give a shout out to him too because i feel bad for him he's one of my main um wrestling partners and we kind of go at it so um i have to give a shout out to him as well Good, and I'm sure I'll appreciate that. Uh, I'll always get to think of the significant other in that one. I know some fighters, you know, when they're, they're given the shout-out, sometimes they forget their girlfriend and they hear about it after uh, the fight or whatever. So, <laughs> after the interview, I should say. So good on you for remembering. Um, November 19th, you know, a couple weeks away. Um, has the weight cut started? Is that something you've started yet, or is that going to happen closer to fight time? Mm, it starts, you know, it. I, it I don't really cut the weight. Um, I just manage my weight. So it's not something that I, I wait till the last minute and like, okay, I'm going to cut 10 pounds because that for a female, that's not smart. That's kind of moronic. It's stupid. Plus we're not allowed to do the IV anymore. So that's not smart as well. Um, so um, it's just something that I've managed up until the point of the weight cut. Gotcha. Now with the fact that this fight's in Belfast and not in the States, do you have to kind of change your preparation for the weight cut? You know, maybe cut more here before you head over. Is that how are you sort of uh, game planning that? Well, we plan on being on the same schedule as Ireland. Um, okay. So we we need to manage our weight cuts because we are going to go a little bit earlier. Um, you know, though the weigh-ins are at 10 o'clock, so that's something that we have to time manage as well. So everything's going to happen a day earlier. That's what we're preparing for. Um, so it's not, not anything major for us. It's just something that we just have to have in the back of our head. We know that we have to do this. And is there any plans to stay in Ireland after the fight? I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful countryside from what I hear. I've never been personally, but are you... Are you are you excited to go? Oh yeah, my uh, my buddy there. That's uh, that's Fuji. <laughs> Sometimes he joins me on the show. Uh, he just he, he just got up from his nap. I think so. I gotta tell you, I thought that was a statue. Oh my god, that is so <laughs> cool that you have a cat in your house. That's he awesome. Just, he just hangs out sometimes. He's a uh, now a lot of people think he's Siamese, but he's actually a British short hair seal point cat. So he's a bit. Oh different. wow. Yeah, he sounds expensive. I know. <laughs> he's uh, he's an exotic cat. What can I say? But he's he's a good co-host because he doesn't interrupt me. So it's uh, it's good. I, you know, so. Like I said, I thought it was a statue. <laughs> um, anyways, yes, I do plan on staying a couple of days in Belfast. Um, 
I have actually the next week off of school. Um, so I plan on staying a couple more days just to visit because I've always wanted to go to Ireland. How beautiful. It's a, it, I want to see a castle. I want to see a castle. I want to go in a castle. I want to tour a castle. So that was one of my main goals. Excellent. Now, perfect scenario in this fight. You know, you, you get the win, you get a perfect, you know, finish or whatever. Um, when would you like to kind of fight again? Do you sort of have that mapped out? And is there anyone you want to fight after this? I, I guess Betch Gohe is still at the top of the list. She is actually at the top of my list, but I mean, I'm willing to fight anybody if, if somebody happens to drop out. And actually, I'm I'm willing to fight as soon as before next year. So early as December, you know, I'll be ready. And it's one of those prime things, um, preferably before Christmas. <laughs> but if not, I'll take one after Christmas. That's fine. Awesome. And let's talk about November 19th. How do you see this fight ending? Um, I see it ending with my hand raised this time around. I see it ending with a finish. Um, it's not something that I want to leave to the judges. It's made that mistake in my last fight. Um, and it's just something that I need to be a little bit more aggressive. I need to be smart, but aggressive. And speaking of predictions, a big fight that's uh, coming up in your division at the end of the year is Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes. Uh, who do you think wins that fight? I wanted to get your perspective on that one. I honestly think Amanda's going to pull this out. Amanda has been gunning for the top for some time, and her striking is amazing. And also her ground game, you cannot put that past her. She's um, she's actually a really good grappler. So um, I think Ronda's going to have her hands full with Amanda. Good stuff. All right, last question for you here. We are recording this on Halloween. Got any Halloween plans tonight? Are you going to dress up at all? <laughs> I am dressed up. Look, I'm in my oh, yeah, yeah, the, the Reebok, outfit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, my students ask me, Mr. No, what are you today? And I'm like, I'm a UFC fighter. She's like, you're a UFC fighter. I'm like, no, today's more important. <laughs> so, um, no, I'm handing out candy. I think my son is going to do some trick or treating. Um, or actually I'm trying to get him to scare the trick or treaters. He won't put on the scary mask and jump out of the bushes for me, but I think I can get him to do it. So hopefully we'll get some good Snapchat videos on that. <laughs> Excellent. We certainly look forward to that. And we certainly look forward to this fight. UFC Belfast, November 19th. Uh, Marian, really appreciate you taking the time as always. Um, where can people get a hold of you on social media? And if you got any thank you, shout outs, anything like that, floor is yours. Thank you to my team, elite team uh, out of Isalia. I thank you to all my, my uh, teammates because Lord knows they have been kicking my ass to get ready for this fight. Um, and I thank you to my family because I know I neglect them during fight camps, but I love them during fight camps. <laughs> Um, they're my support. And if you want to get in contact with me, Marion underscore Renault on any social media aspect. Um, if you email me, I respond back.